battered, bruised, and hospitalized. A woman talks about the pit bull attack she survived. I had the dog who had a pit bull wrapped around my neck. A grandmother has been mauled. Her face is scarred, as you saw, and her mangled arms are wrapped in bandages. And her attackers weren't strangers. They were the dogs that live in her own home. Coma Force Lindsay Cohen is live at Harborview Medical Center tonight, where that woman is stable and recovering. Lindsay? Molly, this happened all the way in Grace Harbor County, but the woman was flown here to a level one trauma center. The sheriff says these dogs had actually bitten humans before, but no one expected this to escalate into an attack earlier this week. Oh, if you want to survive, you're going to have to fight. And Gloria Boswell is in the battle of a lifetime. And I wasn't about to give up my home and my life. They chewed holes in her arms, clean to the bone. The 82-year-old was attacked in her own home by her grandson's pit bulls Monday night. I closed my eyes and I can just hear her screaming for help and nobody's there to help her. She's my life. Deputies say they are stunned the powerful dogs didn't take her life. She was home alone with the dogs in their Satsap house when she knocked a pillow from the couch and something set them off. Two of the dogs attacked, the third seen here was not involved. I had a pit bull wrapped around my neck. Most of the damage is not to her neck, but to her face, her arms, and her legs. That's where the dogs bit her. Deputies say the wounds are horrific, some of the worst they have seen in decades. But her grandson insists no one could have predicted this. There's been no, no prior um, instances of this at all. I mean, everybody gives a pibble a bad name. It just depends how they're raised. Boswell has a long road ahead. But as we mentioned before, this great great grandmother is a fighter. <laughs> oh, yeah, you do. One who has never given up before and isn't about to start now. Well, I know she's a strong person. She's a strong willed person, always has been. Deputies say one of Boswell's grandsons actually shot one of the dogs right after this happened. The second dog was then put under a 10 day quarantine and is expected to be put down. Meantime, the sheriff says no charges have been filed in this case, but the investigation is ongoing. Reporting live in Seattle, Lindsay Cohen-Como, 4 News.